Hey, welcome back to Barry T's Garage. This is part 35 of our 38 Zephyr project, and I appreciate you coming along. Just a quick little reminder, you know, when you uh, like and subscribe these things, I know a lot of channels keep uh, harping on it, and I try not to really, but it helps a great deal. And some people have asked me about subscriptions, you know, what does that cost me? And, and really, it doesn't cost anything. It's just simply uh, that it'll put a send a reminder to you or, or put us on your list. And if you hit the bell to be alerted all the time, then uh, it'll, it'll kind of show up more readily for you when we post a new episode. So just for those that were wondering about that, that's how that works. All right, the Zephyr is uh, getting a little more work done on the brakes and suspension. Uh, parts has been kind of the problem. And I know there's supply line issues for everything. And uh, the purchasing department for JB is, uh, has not been able to escape that problem. But anyway, things are moving along and I'm gonna, without any more delay, here you go. Now, what did you do to the steering box here? Anything? Is this original? Um, no, I don't think so. We replaced it actually. Okay. It's original. It's an original re Style. rebuilt, basically? No, nope. nope. mm -hmm. just original good. Original good steering box, yeah. just nice and beautifully. Well, but the point is we had to replace it. For, yeah. for it was corroded so bad. We had to buy another one. Okay. Another one. I got you. And the front suspension is original, but and I see the spring there. Did anything done to change the height of it? The eyes were reversed to drop the front. Okay, so I got you. So the. The eyes are on top of the spring instead of the bottom. So it's lowered a couple inches that way? Yes. Okay. Now, what else, what's been done as far as the bushings or anything else related to this? Anything? Uh, new kingpins and kingpin bushings for the... For the and replace the rubber uh, in the pivot point. Pindles. And so it, this, that's this really is, hard to find. There's a rubber bushing inside yes, this? inside that thing, but it's yeah. incredibly okay. hard to find. Original, okay. original that's only. Because the whole front suspension is right. pivoting that's right a, here. That's right. Okay, so I got gotta you. it's got to be in something and other. The cross member's been dropped two inches oh, to make right. room for the C4 transmission. Right. So this is dropped, exactly. Of course. So now the transmission will clear the floor. Transmission will clear the floor. You can put the floor back. And you can see right down the throat of this to... For your drive shaft. No more the drive shaft. No more torque to. No, okay, so important upgrades yeah it's now all, let's, it's all let's, brand new technology basically let's go back to the brake system here this was a hydraulic i mean i'm sorry this was a mechanical braking correct vehicle but now we see a hydraulic lines coming out of the side there to a flex can you line. name an application for this is the same as camaro or oh, these, pick are, a Ford. these are like a granada rotor and caliper okay on, and the spindle would not accept it off the 38 so okay. this is now a 41 Ford passenger part spindle. Okay. Which will accept the rotor and the caliper bracket. Okay. But but even though it's later model and you put hydraulic system on it with calipers and ro a rotor, uh, you're still going to put the 38 wheels on it. Correct. Yes. So, we, yes. so you have. So we have, have an adapter that has to go on the outside uh, to accept the right. wider bolt pattern on the wide five okay. wheels which yeah so came originally on this and we want to preserve that it's a lot of work but it's it's a big part of the look of a 38. sure so you're modernizing it like crazy behind the wheel and then we got to reverse back but to you still got to reverse it to right. make it exactly. get that look cool this car is going to have its own hubcaps too oh right Completely, on. totally unique to this car and they'll be identified as v12 a v12 hubcap that's correct Wow, very cool. So, Spider hub cap, no less. So, when the when the owner is taking care of this, these are they're going to know available. readily available. Yes. You can do the servicing, the maintenance. Crosses over to a lot of different modern cars. Okay. And all the part numbers and all of the things that he needs to know with respect to getting new brake calipers or new discs is is uh, is going to be in the folder he's presented with at time of delivery. Very good. All right, so that takes care of the front end. What's been going on in the back? Can we Let's talk about walk that? Right back here.
Okay. So here we have the, uh, again, the Got the spring. nine inch rear end. It's been fitted to where the, the earlier rear end used to be, right? All right, now these uh, springs, we took a couple, uh, reversed the positioning of the springs such that when you do that, the car drop automatically drops down, but you preserve the original spring. Yep. Springs on these things were uh, very well designed and they're, they're tied into the weight and the performance of the car. So they don't need to be thrown away and replaced because now you're trying to re-engineer something that was already engineered properly. And that's, so right. we, we're trying to preserve as much of the original car that, that makes sense and then yep. update it so it can live in the modern world. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing, got the hydraulic lines run back. Right. So they're getting ready to be hooked up. And I guess, uh, now what about these? No, those are the ladder bars that, that uh, control the rear end. Okay. They have to be able to pivot and they have to be redesigned and re-welded to the, the rear end case at the right attitude so that it heads for that mount point. So okay. these are made separately and then, the, and then they're cut and laid into position and everything is laid out, then it's tack welded and then it's finished welded so that everything aligns perfectly with where it's going to wind up. Okay, now what did the original car have? Well, the original car was just a, you know, just a spring. Okay, it, so There's it didn't nothing, have it, these ladder. It didn't ladder. require this sort of thing. This is for, uh, for a nine inch Ford okay. style rear end. Gotcha. It's a different, different concept. Right. And it had, remember it had a torque tube. Right. So the torque tube positions everything, keeps it straight, but it's also uh, difficult to maintain, difficult to service. Right. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just, it's just more work and more uh, things to concern yourself with. This one, will have a standard style uh, drive shaft that you could buy at any drive shaft store. If, if, yep. you, if you, the bushings go out of it, uh, even the whole drive shaft goes away at some point, you can just take it down and hand them that one and they'll hand you another one. Right on. Okay, so I, I think you mentioned earlier that the drive shaft would be kind of the last thing, everything else. Yeah, you want everything positioned and setting where it's gonna set and then you measure the, the the, 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 the drive shaft connects the front of the car to the back of the car. Sure. So there's no point in doing that until the tail end because when the car is sitting on the ground, we have an accurate measurement, then we can just call in the dimensions for the drive shaft. Right. It's all common off the shelf stuff now. Mm -hmm. So all, we, all he wants to know is what's the center to center dimension on the drive shaft itself. And there's okay. a, li a little bit of slack built into to the system because the car goes up and down then the drive shaft has to be able to go in and out. So right. it can track with the rear end uh, as the car is going up and down. I guess the engine and transmission are going in kind of as one piece, is that what happens Correct. next? Correct, yeah, exactly. Okay. And we made some headway on that recently, so hopefully the engine, about the time we have uh, all the underpinnings of the car in place, we'll be ready to, to mock up the motor. We already mocked it up with a, with a mock-up V12, but yeah. we'll start considering putting in the, uh, the the motor that it's going to live with and uh, then we're going to we're building the firewall cover for the inside to insulate the inside of the cab and yep. clean up the firewall on the inside of it and when the motor is in place then we'll start installing the, the various ways the motor communicates with the dash cool <laughs> it's also evident here is that this car was was always you know in a dry climate which is really nice to see it yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an incredible it, it, shape. Yeah, it really is. I mean, all we had to do was white metal blast it and undercoat it. And very, very little in the way of uh, metal replacement. So that was nice. Thanks yeah. again for following along. We'll keep you posted on this project.